Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. Yes, I noticed my face has been missing. In fact, my face has been missing from a lot. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit, trying to give you more of what I think more people want. I don't think people are interested in looking at my ugly mug as much as they are at the toys that I'm featuring. So yes, don't worry. Those of you prefer the ugly mug, uh, I will be back. I'm going to mix it up with a lot of different things. It's just right now, um, I don't really feel like these are things that require too much of a reaction of my, my face, these are just some things that I wanted to kind of share with you, okay? This one, I'll, this one's gonna take some explanating, some, explanating, yeah, I can talk, explanation. I will uh, come to this one second. This one is pretty straight out. And if you look back on a previous episode, you'll see that we have had an episode where we took out, um, we did some unboxings. We found these, man, I got these delivered to me and I was able to uh, not take them out of this vintage card, but in fact, take them out of their mailing box where I had a whole set. I did unbox one of them, which was the Mandalorian. But every so often, I have found myself in a local shopping center like a Walmart doing other errands. And I happened to come across one of, my, one of these awesome grief cargo figures. And I said, you know what? Maybe for these retro figures or these new retro things, especially if they continue down this way, I might take a few, not a lot, but maybe a few and unbox a few get a few doubles to open. So I decided I'm gonna do that with Grief Karga. I have two now, I'll have the Mandalorian and Grief Karga. Because I'm just a sucker for these original, um, these original figures, look, you know, look and feel of the figures. Um, just really cool. Now, you know, again, the card art, love it, love the card art. I'm not a huge fan of the distressed look of the side, but I do appreciate that I believe moving after the first series of re-releases that they made that th these have all been kind of there's been a few different types not just all the same um i don't know about mandalorian and look for sure but i think it was different too so um it's a cool card i wish there were more pictures on the back but not bad all right and then we've got of course the figure itself there he is i just love i'm just loving the vinyl cape oh it just brings me back man it just brings me back now, I'm noticing his holster, and I'm, I think this is meant to kind of, you know, set up like that. You can actually put it in its holster. It's not really fully, like, stuck in there, okay? But it's, it's just, you can see it kind of just, like, set there, which I kind of like because, you know, you put them, you put the, I can't tell you how many of my original figures do not have weapons anymore, simply because they popped off and ended up on the floor, and how many vacuums have picked up those weapons? But here he is, and I love how they gave him that that vintage look. With it, he didn't wear really anything like this, but they just again, it kind of simplified it and gave him this really cool vintage style, almost '70s like look to its to the tunic and the color red with the with the brown gloves and the brown bottom legs and boots. That's that's just awesome. And of course, the vinyl cape, very reminiscent of it's more of a cape vest, right? Very reminiscent of Vader. Just a really cool thing. The Italian Stallion. It's the name. The name. <laughs> Sorry. I was just watching a thing about Rocky. Uh, so cool to have um, this awesome actor, um, Carl Weathers, with, with the Star Wars universe now. That's fantastic. It's like full circle. So really awesome. Um, I'm going to probably... I'm going to work on making a display or a, a set of display cases that'll feature um, the new retro line as they get made, along with some customs. I have those custom droids figures that I've been making. <gasps> Shout out Disney Plus. Droids is on Disney Plus now. Woohoo! That's awesome. So um, we, might have, we might have a rewatch or a watch party or something with those. Those are fun. All right. So back to grief. So there he is, Grief Karga. I'm going to, you can hang out here by Baby Yoda. And uh, watch what we do with this one. All right, so this. Okay, this is essentially a first class complimentary bag of sundries and whatnot for United Airlines on their special uh, Star Wars themed plane. And what made me even think about this, this came out actually at the end of uh, 2019, beginning of 2020. And it, you know, you could follow the registry of the plane to find out it was not, you know it was just random where well, not random but it was seemingly random as to where you would end up 
um, going. Okay, uh, and, but we just happen to see the plane. The plane is still in service as a Star Wars plane. Uh, this is a, and the time of this recording is June of 2021. So it survived the pandemic, although then again, it might not have done much during the pandemic. So um, they're probably still, you know, want to get a full shelf life out of the the uh, painting that the paint job or the wrap that they put over the plane, along with the seats and everything else. All right, but but first class passengers got um, a container that looked like this. I believe there were more than one. I think that there were several. Uh, packs. This was a C-3PO pack and there were others. Um, I have not gone on this flight, uh, but I did find this on eBay for a very, very, very reasonable price. So I purchased it and now we're going to take it out right now. Um, so first thing I got to do is get this little tag thing out of here. Uh, I'm going to keep the tag though. Just going to put it. Oh, come on. Are you being, are you, oh, no, I see. I'm gonna... eh. There it is. There we go. Okay, so what does this come with? All right, well, we're going to just take everything out one thing at a time. And then we'll go through each thing one by one. I'm probably not going to utilize a lot of this stuff much. I'm just going to kind of set it up here. All right, so what do we have? Well, obviously we have our little Ziploc a little heavier, like a vinyl container, so that's cool. We have a Sun Sunday Riley in-flight remedy. Visit us at online at sundayriley.com to receive a 20% code. All right, so that's obviously not something we're gonna be able to do anymore, but, okay, but that's fine. We have some lip balm, okay, very nice. And then this is, oh, we have a postcard. You know, this is what that C-3PO image was. It was an actual postcard. We have Rise of Skywalker, I'm not quite sure. Oh, toothpaste. Hmm, Take contains toothbrush and Colgate. All right, now, I'm, I'm just so curious. Is it, is it, uh, is it a Star Wars toothbrush? Oh, all right. Sorry, folks. I seriously don't think these things are going to go up in value, so I can afford to. I'll keep it. I'll keep it in the package, like you know. Aside from this. All right. Let's go a little bit further. A little bit further, and no. <laughs> it is a plain old toothbrush. But you know what? Perhaps I will consider replacing my toothbrush. Uh, the toothpaste. Looks like, yeah, it's, it's not one of those like travel size. It is a tiny travel size toothpaste. So I will probably just keep these all together. Um, and if I know I have a travel toothbrush, if I need it, so that's fine. Um, earplugs, I'm not gonna take out, um, but I like that it has the Star Wars Rise of Skywalker on there. And my favorite thing, which I probably wanna use, but they say this is like single use, but it is a United, um, you know, sleep, you know, mask that you put on. And I've actually started using some of these at times. And it, you know, if I'm, if I'm at my home and my wife is like looking on the computer or on her iPad, that's pretty cool stuff. So I'm enjoying that. So pretty neat. So again, uh, you might still, I, I, I've been hearing people commenting that um, they no longer have these available. Okay. They uh, are, uh, they've used them all up. And, but the, the plane itself, as I said, as of a few weeks ago, the plane was still flying and you could still see it. So um, pretty cool stuff. So maybe you'll get that flight yourself. So not a, not a bad thing. And again, you can get different, some people were trying to collect like all four sets or five sets or six sets so they could get the different cards, but I'm not that intense of a collector. Um, I just thought this was really cute and it wasn't very expensive. So thought it was kind of a quirky item. So I hope you enjoyed that weird episode <laughs> featuring Grief Karga and United Airlines First Class Sundries Kit. <laughs> Very weird. All right, so that'll do it for this week's episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the, net, hit the uh, notification buttons and all that other jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the force and the toys and the weird collectibles be with you.